Well, the, the pandemic uh, had affected all the different sectors, uh, uh, but um, the cultural sector particularly uh, was hit hard, uh, not only because um, it is a, a very important sector that is a significant part of the image of the city of Prague. Uh, lots of people come to Prague for, for its culture, uh, but of course people couldn't perform um, and, um, and you know they, they moved to other jobs or uh, had to find alternatives. And so we're uh, looking very closely at um, how do we, or we were looking very closely how to bring the cultural sector back up to speed, but we were also pondering how we could use data, uh, which is what I'm responsible for, the, the Prague Data Platform, to better understand what is happening within the cultural sector and how can we support it so that it, it flourishes um, in the way that it should. Um, so uh, of course, uh, everything, every sector now generates uh, information and data. And um, uh, the, the city of Prague is an is a important supporter of, of the local culture in, in, in Prague. And uh, we were approached by the, by the Prague Creative Center, uh, which drives lots of the, lots of the cultural strategy um, uh, initiatives. Um, and they're responsible for the, for, for the, uh, for the uh, uh, cultural strategy of the city of Prague to um, develop better insights into what is happening within different sectors of of, of, of culture um, in Prague. And um, they, they've won a, a, an EU-funded project that basically enables them to uh, develop a set of dashboards uh, that will help them get business intelligence and, and better insights um, into you know, who's going to theaters, how are theaters performing, um, uh, different performance venues, um, uh, galleries, museums, uh, so on and so forth. Um, and so we've been supporting the city not in delivering that dashboard, which normally would be uh, um, our job, and, uh, but rather supporting them in designing the RFP, working together with, um, with the, uh, throughout the entire procurement process, which is an innovation partnership, uh, to really pick the right uh, uh, supplier of that, of that service or of, 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 of that dashboard. All that data, and that's our condition, will be stored on the PROC data platform, which is an, an open source platform. Uh, and um, the, the idea is that um, Ultimately, uh, the data only uh, makes sense if someone is using it. And the beauty of this project is that uh, the Prague Creative Center will be using uh, all those dashboards that are being developed. Um, and what we are looking at specifically is how do we understand individual behavior or behavior of groups, of course, being GDPR compliant, uh, to, to, to better target particular types of culture and how we can support them. And, um, and the idea is to also look at proprietary data such as spend data, to understand not just how locals spend uh, uh, their money and time in, in, the, in the city of Prague, but also tourists. And so we, we do have uh, those insights and we're trying to use them to, to have a, a vibrant, more flourishing and, and, and healthier cultural life in the city of Prague. I mean, uh, the idea would be that uh, you might be able to support particular types of culture or, or pop-up culture at a particular time in a particular place where you have demand and so suddenly you become you, you become more demand driven and you understand what people are looking for and you can you can adjust that kind of cultural offering uh, to those needs um, and uh, there, there will be, we've had these discussions a long time ago uh, that you know in a way that city mapper works for public transit that it would be nice to have something as a cultural mapper that, that basically works for culture that helps you consume particular culture that you like at a particular time and hopefully uh, this will bring us closer to that goal.